Hi there, I'm Angie Austin with Oil and Gas 360, and we are here at the 2017 Intercom Oil and Gas Conference, and we are joined by Jeff Sapunja. He is a CEO, and he is with Heal Systems. Welcome, Jeff. Thank you, Angie. All right, so let's talk a little bit about your company, Heal Systems. Where does the name come from, and what are the services that you bring to oil and gas producers? Well, Heal Systems is interesting. It stands for the Heal. It stands for Horizontal Enhanced Artificial Lift. We actually developed this technology. Uh, it's for producing and artificial lifting horizontal wells. We developed it as a producer, uh, really solving our own problems. And, uh, and this has really been an eight-year process for us. Uh, but we realized that solving our production problems on our wells, our problems weren't unique. So we went down the process of commercializing the technology, ah. bringing it out from our producing company and developing it as a, its own services business. And recently here, we were formerly called Production Plus Energy Services, but we recently this spring uh, formed a joint venture with Schlumberger. Ah, Schlumberger okay. became very interested in our results, and now Heal Systems was formed as a joint venture company owned half by our shareholders and half by Schlumberger. So let's talk more specifics about how it works. Uh, heels can, a heel system can enhance traditional pumping methods. So give us kind of the lowdown on how it works. So when the horizontal well development of, of plays started, uh, we all learned quite quickly as producers, it was very challenging to, to produce and artificially lift the wells. And so there was a lot of trials and different technologies and different attempts to resolve the challenges. But what we discovered is that those, all those attempts weren't dealing with the root issue. We discovered a root issue, and the root issue is that these horizontals are merely pipelines. Okay. And one of the biggest challenges with pipeline companies is the fact that the flow in the pipeline is inconsistent. There's slug flows in the pipeline. Well, it turns out these slug flows come out of these horizontal wells to where the pumps are placed. And pumps don't like slug flows. Okay. So we had a simple hypothesis. We said, well, why don't we resolve the root issue, which is slug flows? So ah. we are a slug flow mitigation specialist company. Ah. So the main principle of the yield system is to smoothen the flow out, eliminate the slugs, and allow the pump to work efficiently. All right, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Uh, so talk about some basins where heel, uh, the heel system is being used. So we initially uh, developed the technology in some Canadian fields. Uh, the Viking and the Montney are common Canadian fields. But some of the big producers in Canada that learned about the technology were also producing in other parts of North America, namely in the Permian Basin. So those companies quickly brought us to the Permian Basin. And that was only two years ago now. At this point now, we have about 250 installs across uh, North America, and we are in every major basin oh, wow. with a heel system. That's and pretty obviously, when we got to nice. that point, that's what got Slumberjay's attention. Ah, uh, yeah, I can imagine. Yes. I can imagine. <laughs> All right, so. Um, Talk about the results. Obviously, the results have been good, or you wouldn't have you know, moved to so many basins. So talk about uh, some of the operators reporting uh, what, what kinds of successes have you heard about from your right. technology? Because of all the inefficiencies of the traditional artificial lift practices, making artificial lift efficient, there was obviously an opportunity to, what they call, draw these wells down harder. So, so we're able to get the pressure at the bottom of these wells lower than any other system. And when we do that, Typically, production increases have been in the range of 50 to 100 wow. percent, in some cases more than 100 percent. So we're doubling Seriously. production in, consistently in people's wells. That gets people's attention. Which is pretty exciting because what's, yeah. what's on the menu right now is uh, producers want to get more out of their existing wells. They're not drilling as much, yeah. so they want to get more production from existing wells. So we're offering that opportunity and, and having an increase of 50 to 100 percent, many of the clients are getting what they call payout you know, less than three months cost of putting the system in, the cost of, uh, total cost of putting the system in, less than three month payout is very attractive, even in a low commodity price environment. Well, I understand uh, you're one of the tech speakers uh, tomorrow, so could you kind of uh, give us kind of a 60 second or so, a summary of your message, what you're going to tell people tomorrow? So the message is really consistent with what I said, is that uh, dealing with the root issue is what was being missed. And that really industry was doing workarounds. They weren't right. actually dealing with the root issues. Yeah, so, band-aids. And, and I'll show how we progressed uh, to discovery that what the root issue was and then how we progressed through resolving the root issue, which then led to this big efficiency in, in pumping. Um, and then the uh, I'll share a, a number of case histories, long-term case ah, histories okay. with multiple installs. So you have reasonable statistics now to show uh, that these results are real and meaningful. 
Should be yeah. good. Yeah. And so you're you. getting some positive feedback at the conference. Very good feedback. So and far. enjoying the conference thus far. This conference has been, uh, I think, certainly one of the best I've been at this year. For oh, sure. good. Yep. Good. That's good yep. to hear. Thank enjoying you, it. Jeff. Thank you. Man. All right. Again, Jeff Sapunja. He is CEO of Peel Systems, and I'm Angie Austin with Oil and Gas 360. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.